Okay, so the summer heat and humidity is definitely here. I think it's about 90 degrees today and 70% humidity. It's pretty bad out. Uh, so I think it's time for some AC videos. And the first ones I'm gonna start out with are a few quick tip videos so you guys can uh, kind of uh, deal with a few common issues and or prevent a few common issues associated with AC systems and Ford vehicles. Now the first tip I can give you is how to prevent that musty, mildewy smell when you start the AC up in the vehicle. Uh, what it is is microbial growth on the evaporator face and that's caused by all the moisture in the air. It condenses on the evaporator face in there. The thing is just soaked and then you shut the vehicle off and then that thing's soaked, it's hot out and inside the, the HVAC case it's dark perfect conditions for microbial growth and it's just going to grow like crazy on there you get that first burst of air going through you start back up you get that smell it can be quite strong and unpleasant so the best thing you can do is before you get home about a mile or two before you get home is to turn the ac off turn the fan on high and let the air flow through the hvac case and let it dry it out before you ever get home and park the vehicle and i'll show you what i mean on my controls down here Okay, so we're about a mile or two from the house. All you have to do is turn the AC off and max AC so we get the fresh air from the outside coming through the EVAP and then turn it on three or four on there and drive your last two miles to your destination. It's still going to be cold enough where you'll get uh, the cool air effect, but in the meantime, you're going to be drying out the EVAP uh, core and the HVAC case itself and letting the rest of the water drain out of there. That is the absolute best way to prevent that smell on there and it's only the last two miles of your trip so it's no big deal. Now the reason why this is such an issue right now is because of a couple of years ago the government cracked down on these chemical manufacturers and they wanted everything to be water based. So ever since then there's been issues with uh, rust penetrants not working as well, paints not adhering as well, chrome peeling off bumpers, stuff like that. And the other victim was the quill coating they used to put all over the face of the, of the evaporator. And now it's such a poor coating on there that it really doesn't do much for it. So you kinda gotta help it along. There's some kind of coating on there, but you gotta help it along so that it really prevents uh, any kind of growth on there.